for this tutorial, we already have um, um, static app created for us, as well as a um, GraphQL backend. So to start with the developing our app, we download the boilerplate for, from this link. Right, unzip it and make sure you inside up the boilerplate directory. So I already have done that. So I renamed that to React Native Apollo to do. And inside I have a bunch of files here. Now also you need to make sure that you have Expo CLI. So you'll be able to run uh, your React Native app either on your phone or in simulator. I also did the npm install um, of Expo CLI already. So what's left here is to do an npm install. And then when it will finish, I will run npm start and it will start the start expo and it will give me an ability to see my app. So I prefer to run it on iOS simulator, though you can um, scan this QR code and run it on your run it on your phone. So let's run it in simulator, and this is our our app. So our app has basic login screen. We won't be covering login screen in the, uh, and login in general in this tutorial. Let's sign up with a user called. React Native course gmail.com We sign up now when we logged in we'll be presented with a bunch of to-dos which is just a static UI nothing is working here our job will be to implement everything uh, through this well going through this course we will be able to delete to do's to check these to do's to load more to do's add new to do's and currently as you can see it's not working also I have a bunch of so we we are on a private to do tab well we'll have public to do tab when you will see to do's from other other users also, we have this users page where you can see online users. Now, in addition to, so we have our static UI here. Now, in addition to that, we uh, can log, load our graphical and play around with graph, uh, GraphQL queries inside. So similarly, I log in with the same user. And uh, as you can see, authorization token is passed here. So I will be able to use authorized version of my graphical here. So now let's uh, head to the next section and uh, add our GraphQL client to our React Native app.